This is part 28 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss error handling in Angular. This is continuation to part 27, so please watch part 27 before proceeding. In our previous video, we discussed how to use HTTP Angular service to call a remote web service. When using HTTP to call a remote web service, variety of things can go wrong and errors may occur. When errors occur, we want to handle those errors. To handle errors, we use the catch operator. So the first thing here to do is just like how we have imported the map operator, let's go ahead and import catch operator from RxJS. Next, let's chain the catch operator to the map operator using dot like this. And to this operator, let's pass another method as a parameter. We call this method handle error. We don't have this method yet. So let's go ahead and create this new method handle error. This method will be called whenever there is an error. And the error object will be passed as a parameter to this method. Let's call the parameter error. And if you recollect from our previous video, the get method of our Angular built-in HTTP service returns an observable of response. Notice from the IntelliSense the return type even when there is an error, the error object type is going to be response. So let's set the type of this error parameter to response. Now what do we want to do with this error object? In a real world application, we may pass the error object to a logging service to log it to the database table or a file. So the development team can review the errors and fix them if required. In our case, to keep things simple, let's log it to the browser console. To log something to a browser console, we can either use console.log or console.error. This is an error. We want the color of the message to be red. So let's use console.error instead of console.log. And notice to the error method, we are passing the error object that we want to log to the console. Next, we want to display a meaningful error message to the end user. Now this is a service. Usually, services doesn't have user interface elements associated with them. So there is no way to display a meaningful message to the end user directly from the service. Instead, what we can do is throw that error back. So any component that subscribe to this service are notified about this error. So that respective component can handle the error and then display a meaningful message to the end user. So let's throw the error back. And to throw the error back, we are going to use observable.throw. And to the throw operator, we pass the error object. So this is going to throw that error back. We are calling this employee service from our employee list component. So within our employee list component, we need to handle the error that we are throwing from this service and then display a meaningful error message to the end user. Notice within ng on init, we are subscribing to the employee service and notice the first parameter to the subscribe method. This method is called whenever the service successfully emits an item. And whenever there is an error, we can specify a second function right here. And this function will be called whenever there is an error. Let's pass the error object as a parameter to the second error function. And what I'm going to do is create another variable with another component class. Let's call this status message. This is going to be of type string. And then within this error function, let's set the variable to this message. So this is the message that we want to display to the end user. Problem with the service, please try again after some time. Now, within the view template of our employee list component, we have this TR right here, which displays the message loading data, please wait. We display this message to the end user when the service is busy loading data. Now, instead of hard coding this message within the view template, let's move it to this property within our component class, status message. So let's set its default value to this. Loading data, please wait. And we know whenever there is an error, this arrow function is called. And this function is setting that variable to this message, problem with the service. Please try again after some time. Now, let's bind 
to this property within our view template. So let's use interpolation for that and bind to status message property. So let's save all our changes now and reload our web page. At the moment we don't have any errors so the data loads fine and the application works as expected. Now let's introduce an error condition. Let's change the service here to include an extra S there. Let's save our changes and then let's reload a web page. Notice now we see the message problem with the service. Please try again after some time. Notice within the service we are logging the error to the console. So let's launch browser developer tools and here is the response that is logged to the console. Notice because we have changed the URL to include an extra S here. It says 404 not found. Now we are throwing the error from our service but then within our employee list component we are not doing anything with that error. We are simply setting this variable to a message problem with the service. Please try again after some time. Now within our employee list component also let's log the error object to the console and see what happens. So let's use console.error and then to the error method let's pass our error object. Let's save our changes and reload our web page. Notice now we get a completely different error message. Observable underscore one dot observable dot throw is not a function. This is because if you look at this piece of code right here within our employee service to throw the error we are using the throw method but we have not imported it from observable. But it worked fine all this while but then the moment we included this code here within our employee list component to log the error to the console that's when we are seeing this error message. To fix this all we have to do is within our employee service where we are using the throw method we will have to import it from RxJS observable like that. So let's save our changes one more time and reload our web page. Notice now the error response is logged to the console twice once by the service itself and once by the employee list component. So to handle errors these are the changes we have done within our employee service and here are the changes within our employee list component. Thank you for listening and have a great day.